Hi everyone, welcome to this video. It's Brian from brightech.co.uk. In this video, we're we'll talking about the virus that hits uh, the registry editor and disables it. No task manager does that up as well. And it also does the folder options. You can't actually en enter there and you can't do uh, save as settings uh, or anything like that. It actually auto runs, it disables all those. And there's a ton of other things they do as well. But they're the most nasty ones because obviously you can't enter the registry. These are the sort of error messages you'll get up. And I'm going to show you now roughly uh, what sort of happens. Now, I mean, these are the type of viruses that are causing it. Just uh, blow that up a bit so you can see. And you've got the worm yar lover dot al. You've got the bron talk, I think that is. There's a load of other different variants now because obviously there's a ton of them there now. Normally this happens because people haven't got a virus scanner or whatnot on their system. Now you need to make sure that you've got that on there to stop this happening. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of fixes out there and definitions out there to fix these problems now. But um, the ones that I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of it first. The first thing you want to do is get rid of this virus or Trojan or spyware or malware first and then we'll do the fix afterwards. So what about what, is, what does it do? Well, if you try to go to a registry edit like so, type reg edit in there. I'll just type that edit like so. And you get this error message come up. It's been disabled by the administrator. Okay, now you could go into policies and, and ch change all that if you've got Windows XP Pro. If you've got Windows XP Home, you can't do it in policies and you have to use uh, a registry file or edit the registry that way. Now you can't, I'm going to show you what the reasons why. So if you try to do task manager, um, as you can see there, I'm just going to whack that in and you'll get the same thing. And if you look at tools, there's no folder options. So you can't actually go in here. There's no saving sense. There's a ton of different things it does. So this is a registry file that I've created there. And basically this will actually fix a lot of the problems okay but the problem is uh, if you click on this now you can't use it because obviously it's telling you that the, it's been disabled so you can't even run a registry file you will will be in a bit of a pickle now so the only other way you can do it is by using this any file okay and this is the actual any file and as you can see, what it's going to do is actually uh, fix the actual registry, okay? Because we're not actually using the registry key, we're going to be using uh, the shell to actually fix it, okay? So let's uh, let's uh, clear the virus first. So what do we do? So first of all, you need uh, malware bytes, like so. Go to the website. Click on malwarebytes.org and then download the free version. Okay, with this big blue button here, download that. Once you've downloaded and installed it, it will look like this big red M. Well, it might not look the same as this thing here because this is a, a different toolbar, but um, it will be installed. First thing you want to do is go to update and check for updates. Yeah, always check for updates, get the latest. For, uh, definitions and then go to scanner and it will be by default perform quick scan you want to do a full system scan okay now you want to try and do this in safe mode if possible because it will work better in safe mode it will run a lot faster uh, it seems to run really slow when it's on the desktop so just run it in uh, safe mode if you can't get a safe mode just reboot the PC and keep tapping either F5 that will take you straight into safe mode uh, and if you don't want to go straight in, you want the option screen, then go into F8, keep tapping F8 as you as the system starts to boot up, and it will give you the option to go into safe mode. Okay, so once you've run that, the next thing you want to do is download another program called Super Anti Spyware. Now, I always like to run two different types of spyware programs, and superantispyware.com. It's one of the best, it's been one of the best for quite a while. And actually just run this free program here, okay? Download that and run it. If you want to pay for the full version, uh, for the full pro version, by all means, do so. But I'm 
formatting the free version does a good job and then basically it will look like this you just have to run through check for updates first okay with this updates then scan your computer again run this in safe mode if possible it will be by default perform quick scan do not do that the full complete scan select the drives that you want to actually scan preferably Windows and then you've got a custom one here where you can just do the registry and whatnot but I mean just do the full scan really okay once you've done that system should be cleaned reboot and now we can get rid of the actual the actual uh, registry changes that it, the actual viruses have made so now what we're going to do here is I'm going to run the registry to fix the actual registry first now this just fixes the registry itself and then this one will actually do all the other bits and pieces so the first thing you want to do is right click and click on install okay that's it it's done so you now go start run registry edit or reg edit like so type enter and up comes the registry now as you can see the places where this is searching is H key current user down at software in at Microsoft if you want to do it manually you can uh, Windows and policies and Explorer and system okay now when you look here you'll see the disabled task manager that's got a one on it that means it's been disabled that's the reason why now if I just put a zero in there or if I wanted to I could right click and delete that file we don't need it once it's been deleted you know it'll work it's entirely which way you want it's entirely up to you you can see the disabled registry tools there there's a zero there if I put a one in that now that was it it'll block the registry again okay so that's what it does so it's up to you you can either keep it there delete it or just edit it so basically well, I'm not going to edit it manually I'm going to do it um, show the other ones no save settings no folder options as you can see and that's no folder options is up here it's still gone so what we need to do is quickly run that, run that file and I'll do it in front if you see, see it here so it's not malicious or anything just going to run that hold on just make sure okay this is what I did to actually disable the uh, just to show you how to disable it I wanted to that's it, change that back because I used it to disable the registry so I can show you how to work and fix it okay so now we fix that we'll just double click so yeah and you'll see them change to zeros now and the same with this system one okay they've all gone back to zeros okay close that go to task manager and you should see should see task manager now there you go it comes up no problem okay now we will need to reboot the system before we can actually see the folder options so I'm going to quickly re reboot that as it is a virtual machine so it shouldn't take too long let's just uh, reboot and let's just enter that like so and go into your account and then now once we go up to here tools and there's your folder options back okay and all your save as and everything's back everything will be back okay my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk thanks very much for watching I hope this has been helpful for you uh, I will leave these links for these download these files uh, so you can download them they'll be in my description um, please leave your comments if you've got any questions please email me and if you like the videos and you want me to make some more please subscribe to my channel thanks very much for watching bye for now